It can be quite a challenging task to cover extensive areas with the grass and trees manually. Fortunately, in Corona Render and V-Ray, we have a powerful tool at our disposal, Chaos Scatter. The great news is that it works seamlessly in both render engines. In this video, we will see how to use and customize Chaos Scatters as well as how to use pre-made ones from Chaos Cosmos. Let's dive in. Let's make one for the forest in the background. Go to the Create panel and from the drop-down menu choose Chaos Scatter. Click on the icon, then click on the viewport. Hold and drag. Next, go to the Modify panel to see how to work with it. First, we need to choose on which surface we want to scatter the objects. As you can see, I divided the ground plane into two. The inner section where I manually placed a few trees and the yellow section for the forest. We are going to use Chaos Scatter on the second one. Now, we need to specify which objects to scatter on that surface. As we mentioned it, this one will make the forest, so I will add the trees with the pause button. Perfect, we've got our forest in the background. To control it, first we need to set the density. This parameter is straightforward. A smaller value scatters fewer objects, while a higher value scatters more. I will keep it dense, but not too much. Next, you may notice that the trees are inclined, which isn't what we are aiming for. We want them to be perfectly vertical. To achieve this, let's change the normal VCZ parameter from 0 to 1. The value of 0 means that the objects are aligned to the surface normals. In contrast, the value of 1 means that the objects are aligned to the z-axis of the project. Another vital consideration is introducing variations. In the real world, every tree is unique. In the 3D space, we can't replicate this individuality, so we will randomize their scale and rotation to simulate that effect. By default, the object rotation is randomized in the z-axis ranging from 0 to 360 degrees. To add even more randomizations, I will change the minimum and the maximum scale. This way, the smallest trees will be scaled down to 60 percentages, the largest ones to 140 percentages, and the rest will fall somewhere in between. Once we've created our forest, it's time to move on and scatter grass around the house. Let's create another scatter. Just like before, we need to select a surface and the objects to scatter on it. I'm using three different types of grass for diversity. However, the grass is barely visible, so we need to increase the density. The number here should be significantly more than 1000, so I will take a different approach. This time, I will use not a total count of scattered objects on the surface, instead, I will scatter 5 grass objects per 10 square centimeters. Obviously, all the three types of grasses are scattered with the same frequency, which looks odd. It would be great if the tall grasses were just here and there instead of everywhere. To change that, let's reduce their frequency in the scatter. In the foreground, I have drawn a path, so I want to exclude the grass from it. To achieve this, Navigate to the areas and add the path shape to the spline exclude with the plus button. Now we have the path, but the transition between the path and the grass is too sharp. To make it smoother, we will add some stones along the edge. Let's create a new scatter and add the stones, but this time, instead of using a surface, we will use a line. To do that, change the type of the scatter from a 2D surface to 1D on spline. Choose the line, in my case a copy of the path placed close to the surface. To avoid overlapping of the stones, enable avoid collusions. If you feel there is too much space between the stones, you can reduce the spacing. To introduce additional randomness, let's add rotation to the X and Y axis 
and some scale variation to complete the effect. Now that we know how to use and customize Chaos Scatters, let's see how to use pre-made ones from Chaos Cosmos. To preserve my scatters, I will disable them. Select the surface with the trees. Open Chaos Cosmos and navigate to the presets. Choose one, download it and click import. Since the surface for the trees was selected, the preset was automatically applied to it. Let's also add a grass preset and exclude the path spline. With these presets, we can populate our projects and scenes very fast and easily. Ok guys, that was all for that video. If you want to see more Corona or V-Ray content, check out my other videos and stay tuned for the next one.